Subject, Current Developments in IT Sector and Emerging Technologies. This is third paper subjective exam question of NRB. Let's jump into topic. Section, A, of 35 marks. 1. Technology is a great enabler, but it also presents pervasive, potentially high-impact risk. Discuss. 2. List out the major features of IT guidelines of NRB. 3. What is Common Gateway Interface, CGI, application? Discuss the use of sockets in internet programming. 4. How does cybercrime affect society? Relate with the financial cybercrime and mention the ways to prevent cyber attack. 5. Explain the key technologies of fintech in brief. 6. Analyze the interaction between HTML forms and CGI scripts, outlining the process of sending data from the client to the server using HTML tags. Include practical examples to illustrate the concept. Dot. Section. B. Of 40 marks. 7. What are the major opportunities and challenges of e-governance in Nepal? Explain. 8. Differentiate between supervised, unsupervised and semi-supervised learning with examples. 9. What is cloud computing? What are its basic characteristics? Explain how it can be instrumental for the implementation of Internet of Things, IoT. 10. Explain the risks and benefits of virtual currency. 11. Describe e-commerce and e-commerce service models. Discuss the importance of cryptography in e-commerce. 12. Describe risk. Discuss various approaches to risk management. Explain how the technological developments have supported in managing risks in banking sector. The end. Now let's try some multiple choice questions that is asked in third paper objective exam question of NRB. Let's jump into topic. 1. In the context of internet programming, what does CGI stand for? A. Crappy graphics interface C. Computer generated image. B. Common gateway interface D. Calculated graphical integration. 2. A computer hacker is, in fact, a security expert. Among these hackers, ethical hacker is also known as A. White hat hacker B. Blue hat hacker. C. Gray hat hacker D. Black hat hacker. 3. An attempt to harm, damage or cause threat to a system or network is broadly termed as A. Cyber crime B. Cyber attack. C. System hijacking D. Digital crime. 4. Which of the following is an essential professional and ethical practice in the field of cybersecurity? A. Regularly updating security patches and software. B. Sharing sensitive customer data without consent. C. Using unauthorized hacking tools for testing purposes. D. Ignoring security incidents and breaches. 5. Among the various strategies of risk handling, managing through insurance is one of the techniques. A. Risk avoidance B. Risk reduction. C. Risk acceptance D. Risk transfer. 6. What term describes the process of analyzing and extracting insights from large and complex datasets? A. Data mining C. Big data analytics. B. Data warehousing D. Data aggregation. 7. Swift code of Nepal Rastra Bank is A. NRBLNPKAB, NRBNP. C. NRBLD, NRBNPKA. 8. Which encryption protocol ensures secure communication between a user's web browser and an e-commerce website? A. Hypertext Transfer Protocol C. File Transfer Protocol. B. Secure Sockets Layer D. Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. 9. What does M-Commerce stand for in the context of e-commerce? A. Multi-Commerce C. Mobile Commerce. B. Mega Commerce D. Marketing Commerce. 10. Typically, how many stages are there in e-government lifecycle? A. 3B. 4. C. 5D. 6. 11. Which e-governance model emphasizes citizen participation in decision-making processes through online platforms and collaborating tools? A. Government to government C. Citizen to government. B. Government to citizen D. Government to business. 12. What is the e-governance master plan of Nepal? A. A framework for implementing e-governance in Nepal. B. A case study on the success of e-governance in Nepal. C. A policy document outlining the benefits of e-governance in Nepal. D. A framework for securing government IT systems in Nepal. 13. What is the primary goal of natural language processing, NLP, in the field of AI? A. Recognizing patterns in data B. Generating human-like speech. C. Understanding and processing human language D. Planning and decision-making. 14. Dot 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 dot. Algorithm is best suited for a binary classification problem. A. Decision trees B. Random forest. C. KNNSD, linear regression. 15. 
Which of the following is not a type of cloud server? A. Public cloud servers C. Dedicated cloud servers B. Private cloud servers D. Merge cloud servers 16. In cloud computing, transaction overflow processing with reservation system is also known as A. Cloud provisioning B. Cloud servicing C. Cloud bursting D. Cloud coalescing 17. Which cloud computing deployment model is characterized by sharing computing resources among multiple organizations or tenants to achieve economies of scale? A. Public cloud C. Hybrid cloud D. Community cloud B. Private cloud 18. In virtual currency taxonomy, what is DAO? A. Decentralized asynchronous operation B. Digitally automated operation C. Decentralized anonymous organization D. Decentralized autonomous organization 19. What is a primary concern associated with the anonymity of transactions in certain virtual currencies? A. Increased transparency B. Enhanced security P. C. Potential for illegal activities such as money laundering D. Improved regulatory compliance 20. Nepal Rastra Bank is established in A. D. A. 1955 B. 1956 C. 1958 D. 1960 21. Which of the following technologies are commonly implemented by Nepali banks for enhancing customer service and reducing wait time in branches? A. Artificial intelligence chat bots B. Blockchain for transaction validations C. Virtual reality for immersive banking experiences D. Cloud computing for data storages 22. Whose signature is printed on the paper note in Nepal? A. Finance Minister B. Governor C. Deputy Governor D. Prime Minister 23. When is the first broadband policy issued by Nepal government? A. 2069 BSB, 2070 BS. C. 2071 BSD, 2072 BS. 24. Banks should check transaction and data integrity site periodically. A. A data center, DC. B. A disaster recovery, DR. C. Between DC and DRD, between head office and DR site. 25. Which widely used Java networking terminology refers to a unique identifier assigned to each network interface card, NIC? 25. Which widely used Java networking terminology refers to a unique identifier assigned to each network interface card, NIC? A. IP address B. Protocol. C. Port number D. MAC address. The end.